star of Indiana. They're a young core, only two years old, and their story is a unique one. Really, it's the story of one man who fell in love with the drum corps activity after having seen it on this very telecast one year. His name is Bill Cook. Personal involvement in the drum corps activity varies from moms and dads traveling with the corps as cooks, seamstresses, equipment managers, souvenir sellers, and so on. These people come from all walks of life, using their vacation time to follow their kids or favorite corps. Now, one person you might not expect to see behind the wheel of a bus is a corporate president and CEO. What draws Bill Cook and his company into this level of involvement? I got started uh, with the idea of drum corps in 1979 when my son asked me to uh, watch the PBS broadcast uh, of the Birmingham show. I didn't want to do it, but I did. And as a result, I soon became a, uh, a hook member of the, the drum corps uh, society. You're out driving a bus when the corps is on tour. Why do you do that? Well, number one, I like to see drum corps shows. Uh, that's the best way that I can think of, is uh, good transportation to where you're going. Number two, I probably won't do it all the time, Steve, because I think the, the important thing during the early years is to make absolutely certain that the Corps is handled properly, to make sure that the people that are managing the group are adhering to the principles and the policies that we'd like, and then once, it's, uh, once those are ingrained, I feel that I can go anywhere I want, anytime, but I don't necessarily have to be with the Corps. You're a very successful businessman. Obviously, starting a drum corps and running a drum corps, putting a million dollars into it is not a, a smart business move in terms of dollars and cents. What would you tell a, a corporation president or, or somebody considering doing what you're doing, or even if they weren't thinking about it, why would it be a smart thing for them to do? Well, first of all, it depends upon the individual. Uh, I think that anyone that would invest in a drum corps uh, has to have that feeling that uh, they are doing something uh, that will benefit others. I also feel that, uh, as I mentioned before, that they have to have a community and social responsibility for their community. But I gained more from the number of people in drum corps that are in, in affected by what we we are doing with the activity. Their lives are changed permanently, and I can say for the better. You know. What about that corporate executive who has a tight budget, who's got the opera, has a museum, all this fighting for his charitable dollar? What does he stand to gain by investing in drum corps? Why not make it something that can impact so many people at once, 128 kids? Or if you're doing it nationally, how about 1,500, 2,000 kids all at once? How about the parents? How about the 30 or 40,000 different people that are out there that are associated with the kids, either as parents or as relatives?